gentlemen, my first guest tonight is an Emmy Award winning actor who played Jesus Quintana in The Big Lebowski. He is now written, directed, and stars in a spin off, The Jesus Rolls. Please welcome back to The Late Show, John Turturro. <laughs> Right. Yes, you, you I got like leather. You're either trying to be hygienic or you're going to challenge me to a duel. Pap, pap. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> nice to see you again. Nice to see you. How you been? I'm good. I'm good. Now, uh, everyone's excited because the Jesus is back. The Jesus is back, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes, he is back, yeah. The movie's out tomorrow, which is your birthday. Yeah. Is this like a gift to yourself? Uh, I don't know, uh, but I'll take it. <laughs> you know, I'd rather be on like the four year plan when it gets to a certain age for your birthday, you know. It's what do you mean, like you only celebrate every, every four, four years? years yeah, you celebrate it? Yeah, like the Olympics you... or the presidential yeah, like, like, election? Yeah, either one. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. Now, you've played so many iconic characters. Right. Why do you think the Jesus it just grips people so much? Well, I think it's the whole kind of philosophy of the Big Lebowski because it's about classic, you know, underachievers. And this movie sort of celebrates that, that people who live in the moment. And I just, I was only in it for five minutes, but I, maybe it was the jumpsuit or the hairnet. I don't know. It's we, the we dance, man. Dancing. It's, the da it's licking the bowling licking ball. The ball. I mean, Has anyone ever asked you to lick their balls? Uh, yeah. <laughs> when I did the Big Lebowski, I got a lot of mail from men and women and prisoners and... People would say, like, wow, well, I want to do something to you in that jumpsuit. You know, I want to get inside that jumpsuit. And wow. I would be like, uh, I, I, was, I, was, I was a little frightened sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no such thing as bad yeah. publicity, yeah. though. No, no. Now, no. In, in this movie, yeah. you, your character, not right. you, but your character, My character. the Jesus the has Jesus. a three-way <laughs> with Bobby Cannavale right. and Susan Sarandon. Right. Yeah. And obviously, the question is, what's yeah. Cannavale like in the sack? Because I asked Rose Byrne and she wouldn't tell me. She wouldn't tell me. Well, you know, he's, he's a little shy. He's a little shy. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? yeah. He's not yes. a tiger? Yeah, he was, you know, he didn't want to share it sometimes. That, you know, that was one of his problems, you know. But you know, I love Bobby, you know. Bobby is really funny, but he was a little nervous, a little bit, yeah. No, he's in this next, this, this clip we've got here. What, yeah. what, what's in it? What's happening? Uh, I don't know. What, what is the clip that you guys are showing? The oh, one, we're, we're in the bowling alley. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, I try to be loose about it. You know, I, sure, of course. <laughs> bowling, a bowling alley. Uh, well, I'm in a bowling alley, and we try to. I try to pick up a girl in a bowling alley, and, uh, and it goes from there. Okay. Okay. Jim. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, I have two reactions to that. <laughs> My two immediate reactions to that are the Jesus still has the moves, right. and the second is I go to the wrong bowling alley. <laughs> That's right. Because I've never That's seen right. anybody that sexy yeah. at a bowling alley. <laughs> well, it's actually hard to dance in a bowling alley because you're slipping a lot. Well, because was... of the shoes, exactly. Yeah, because of the shoes. shoes. Yeah, yeah. And I was doing that dance with my... Uh, a salsa teacher, uh, Idelka, and she's in the movie, and she just kept, you know, reminding me not to step on her feet the whole entire yes. time. She was like, "Do you do salsa outside of this yeah. thing here?" With her, I do it. Yeah, you do it for just for fun. Yeah, it's fantastic. Wow, it's fantastic, and it's really hard. And she's a really tough teacher. How and, long have you, know, you been doing this? Uh, a couple of years, you know. And, wow. Yeah, and she's always like, "You're dancing with me. You're dancing with me." You what does are that dancing. Mean? What does that mean? Well, sometimes you know you get carried away. And, yes, yes. And you're yes. not taking in your partner. 
Yeah, and you have right. to take in your partner because there are so many moves, and she's she's a great great. So you got, you, you got to be able to respond improvisationally. Well, to you're the leader too. in salsa. You you know you you're leading the lady, but I mean I'm not really leading her. But I'm not, <laughs> no way. No. She, she's way ahead of me. All right, as 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 a great actor and, and a director oh, yourself, I got to ask you. I got to ask you uh, some some of, of the performance of the Democratic candidates because we're seeing oh. you know it, they're demi we're getting to a smaller and smaller cast yeah, every time right. they get up there on yeah. stage. But it's getting more and more dramatic. When yeah. when you see them, like who, what do you think of their performances well, as, I, as I a kinda, performer yourself? Well, I, I don't think I could ever do that because first of all, I couldn't be an expert on all these subjects. I think there should be sort of a test because they be instantly have to know. Yeah, they know you know geography, history, science, you mm -hmm. know economics. But you can always tell like what they're going to probably say. Like we were laughing because my wife is reading this book on sleep, and I was thinking, well, imagine if that was. A topic like why we sleep. You know, you could see, you know, Bernie saying, you know, it's a human right to sleep. Everyone should sleep. It's a human right. And then you could see Elizabeth Warren. People every, yeah. in other countries, everybody sleeps. Everybody sleep sleeps, here. you know. We're the only industrial <laughs> country <laughs> where no, no one, sleeps. one sleeps, you know. And Elizabeth Warren would say, you know, I have a plan for sleep, you know. I will raise taxes so you can sleep one extra, uh, you know, hour, you know. Yes. And Bloomberg would just be, you know, saying, well, I don't really need to sleep because, you know, I have so much money that I just sort of go in the tank at night, you know what I mean? <laughs> like that. You know, but you kind of know, like, uh, you know, their, what their impulses are going to be, you know. Uh, you know, Biden always being, I'm the first person to uh, ever have slept, you know what I mean? He's always like, and he's, <laughs> and he, yeah, I'm the first person, and then he's always looking, saying, well, I know my time is running out, but I have one more thing to say. You and know, second, when you know, I used to <laughs> sleep with Barack Obama. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Well, we slept together, you know? I mean, uh -huh. I, I mean, okay, you know, uh, <laughs> separate beds. Here's you know? the interesting thing. I know that, have you ever spoken to the Obamas uh, about the fact that their first date was to go see Do, Do the, the Right, right thing. thing. Yes, yeah. They okay, which obviously you're in. They, yeah, and I play the, the racist character in that. So right. uh, Michelle told me and Barack both, they said that, uh, you know, that I've been with them since the beginning and I sort of brought them together. Oh, okay, so, uh, good. No, I just, that's a, a wonderful uh, thing. Well, in our fractured society, society right yeah, now, is yeah. there some other film of yours that you would recommend that we all watch to come together? Uh, I would think, like, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Probably, you know, bring all everybody together. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. That would be... It's going to be on the queue. On the queue. John, lovely to see you again. Lovely thank you so much you. for being here. Keep okay. up the dancing. All right, thank you. The Jesus Rolls is in theaters tomorrow, and his movie, The Plot Against America, premieres March 16th on HBO. John's a tour, everybody. We'll be right back with Charlemagne the God. Ha!